In this quick little video we're going to talk about the coarse scale and the fine scale that we have here on the torque wrench. We're also going to make sure that we are on newton meters and not on the standard or US inch pounds for the coarse scale. That's one place a lot of technicians uh, have some air. And then the other thing on the fine scale, we want to make sure and use the newton meter, which is the bottom one and not the top one as well. Hey, what are you doing? Have you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell? You're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. This is such a crucial thing to understand about setting and reading a torque wrench that we're going to uh, pause for a second and reflect on some steel images here. As you can see, the top scale here is the coarse scale, and we're basing the zero line off the center bar running down that scale. And then to fine tune the adjustment, we will use the micrometer scale or this lower scale as seen here. Compare this photo against the real torque wrench and get very familiar with it. So let's look at what we're dealing with here. We have a set of numbers along either side of the scale here that represent that landing point for the course value. So we're going to go ahead and use this 25.4. You can see we're below the 19.8 so we want to come up to and land right on this 25.4 line with the zero. So hold the push the lock ring down and then rotate. And so right there You'll notice when it's correctly, when the lock ring is correct, I can wiggle it back and forth and it's locked. It can't, it can't do this. Let me show you. That locked it in. We want to be reading it with it locked. So right now we are on the 19.8. We'll go ahead and keep going. All right, as you can see, we're at 25.4. But let's say that we wanted a value of 26 Newton meters. Now what we want to do is use the micrometer scale and add that 0.6 to the 25.4 so that we can reach the total of 26 newton meters. Let's adjust it now. You can see we hit the 0.6. Now the torque wrench is ready for the 26 newton meters and you're ready to get to work. <laughs> 